It's a tough afternoon in College Park this Sunday. Maryland goes down to Northwestern, 67-61. Danny Manning's first game after Mark Turgeon steps aside. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Mason Viner. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Mason, anything look different to you? Not much other than Marcus Dockery gets some run, but the Terps, same lineup, same rhythm of the game, and really they stalled out at the same point. Yeah, Maryland gets stuck at about 39 points. They get down by eight. They do come back. It was a one-point game. It gets away again. Maryland just can't shoot, Mason. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's all about what you recruit, and Maryland's thought they had brought in some guys that could really shoot the basketball. That's clearly not the case now. It's time for them to kind of bring back uh, that old style where they press up and down the court, they speed the tempo up of the game, they play everybody on the bench, they brought in guys that they felt like they could play if you throw out a Simon Wright or two, Marcus Dockery finally getting back in the lineup. At this point, you got to play to your strength. Their strength right now seems to be defense. they got to press it up and down the court and see if they can find a way just to create chaos and get the two-point baskets that they can. That they can. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. Uh, here's a word from Rick Jacklich. We'll go over the Maryland shooting woes as Bruce joins the program here in a moment 67 61 Northwestern over Maryland Maryland's legal newspaper has named the Jacklitz Law Group the very best best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state if you're hurt listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs the Jacklitz Law Group at 855 big dog one don't just get a lawyer Get the lawyers. Back here from Xfinity Center, Maryland falls to Northwestern 67 to 61. Bruce, we were hoping for some changes, really didn't see any. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. You figure a new coach takes over just to give a different look, give a different appearance, but you know, same pattern of substitution, same everything, but He's only had a, a day to work with it. He had no idea he was going to take over Danny Manning. But I have to tell you, everybody, this is really disappointing. This is a really disappointing loss. This is not, this is one of our lower points in my recent memory of where the franchise stands today. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. Mark Turgeon was a great guy and a good friend. Uh, leaving the way it happened and the way it happened has put the franchise, the, the program, in tough stead. And... Uh, this could be a long season, maybe. I'm pretty disappointed about it, uh, Mason. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's one of the teams that you circled when Maryland joined this conference and said, look, they'll probably beat them every year, both times. If they play them twice, that's two wins that you can kind of circle at the beginning of every season. And Northwestern's played some tough games here. They haven't gotten over the hump. They really wanted this one. And look, at the end of the day, yet again, the ball just did not go in the basket when Maryland needed it to. And uh, not really to point out anything, but it's the second time that Julian Reese, under four minutes left, has let up a big play. He missed a layup against Virginia Tech. Today he gets blocked out, gives up an offensive rebound. And, and it's just plays like that, that Maryland has just not been able to uh, really evade this year. And they, they've saved themselves a couple games, but more than not this year, it's it's gone the other way. Yeah, listen, my head's down for a reason. I love this program like, like uh, you can't imagine. And I don't see good things. Now, Wayne indicated to me the shooting percentage was in the high 20s. You're not going to beat anybody in the high 20s. And how many points did they score? 61. Uh, 61, most of them down the wire. I mean, they were in the 50s. You just can't win a game. And ladies and gentlemen, Doug Collins was celebrating like it was his greatest win ever because he's never won here as a coach All right, at, at College Park, and he probably never will again. Sorry about that, Doug. Listen, Chris. This, this Chris Collins, this this is a day we will remember. All right, season's not over. All's not you know. Fortunately, they got a game next Sunday against Florida. Then two pigeon games. 
to you know against Loyola and Brown that'll probably be tough when you only score 60 points. But we got 19 conference games left. I hope I hope they're able to turn around. I really do. And uh, before I do that, come out here, boys. Come out here real quick. Go, go. Ivy, come here. All right. This is a huge Tom Brady fan, right? Yeah. This is a Jalen Hurts fan. All right. All right. There's his dad. There's his grandfather. And hey, I thank these kids for coming out. I'm sorry it was such a bad game. I'm upset. You know, I'm really upset. We'll move on. It's just a game. I got the Steelers coming up. All right. And now we will go to the press conference. At least Wayne and Mason will. And uh, we'll see you. When's our next home game? The 28th. We could be in New York. I hope we're, I hope we're in New York watching the bowl game. All right, guys.